We're going to review another research paper. This is done by the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine. It's titled, Evidence Supports No Relationship Between Obstructive Sleep Apnea and Premolar Extraction in Electronic Health Records Review. Basically, what this study did is it took 5,000 people, 2,500 people that had bicuspids removed, or at least there was one bicuspid missing in each quadrant, and there was 25 people that did not have missing bicuspids. They looked at medical submissions and dental submissions, that is like procedure and diagnostic codes. They looked at whether people did or did not have obstructive sleep apnea. And what they found is that 10% of people in both groups had obstructive sleep apnea. So they concluded that there was really no statistical difference amongst the two groups, but there was some real problems with this study. They actually confirmed amongst the people that had sleep apnea by way of a polysomnogram or that they had a CPAP, that these people actually had sleep apnea. But of the people who did not have sleep apnea, they actually did not have a polysomnogram. And there was no way to really know for sure whether or not they really did or didn't have sleep apnea. It's a well-known fact that 80 to 90% of people who actually have sleep apnea are actually not diagnosed. This paper actually goes into that. It cites that as one of the problems with the paper. So how they can just decide that it's approximately the same for the two groups and say that 10% of people have sleep apnea and there's really no difference amongst the groups is pretty confusing. So they actually use absence of submissions of codes to insurance companies to prove that people didn't have sleep apnea, which is ridiculous because once again, 80, 90% of the population who has sleep apnea is not even diagnosed. What I would have actually done had I done this study, because interestingly enough, the study was actually using data from health partners in Minnesota, which has 1.8 million members. So what I would have done is I would have actually found 5,000 people where 2,500 had teeth missing and 2,500 people did not, and all 5,000 of them had a polysomnogram. I can guarantee you that this data is available, and then you really could have gotten down to what the situation really was.